Philippines. Once a trader bought a large number of coconuts. He loaded them onto his horse cart and set off for his home in the village. A little later, he encountered a small boy on the road. He asked the boy how long it would take to reach the main road. Go slowly and you will reach the main road in 10 minutes, replied the boy. But if you go fast, it will take you half an hour or more. The trader thought that the boy was surely a fool. So he decided to double up his pace and drove away at a great speed. Suddenly, 50 meters down the road, one of the wheels of his cart struck a stone. The coconuts could not bear the sudden accidental jolt. And the next moment, the trader saw his coconuts lying in all directions. It took him a very long time to gather all the coconuts and put them back in the cart. He was very much tired after the whole process. He climbed back wearily into the driver's seat and with the boy's words ringing in his ears, drove slowly and cautiously the rest of the way. Why do kangaroos hop? One day, a baby kangaroo named Kip asked his mother, Why kangaroos hop? We are kangaroos, his mother replied simply. That is what we do. Kip went to his friend Kimi Kuala and asked if he could hop. Kimi replied that he could neither hop nor run. He could just climb up trees. Kip then saw Cedric Crocodile and asked whether he could hop. Cedric replied that he could only swim and crawl, but he could not run or hop. Next, Kip asked Danny Dingo if he could hop. Danny replied that he could run and walk, but could not hop. Kip then went to Kara Kukabra and asked if he could hop. The bird replied that he could only fly but not hop. Kip happily thought that none of his friends could hop. Only kangaroos had the ability. He felt very special. He hopped all the way home. Dingoes, crocodiles, koalas, and kookabras cannot hop. I am happy that I am a kangaroo and can hop all over the place. Kip told his mother. His mother smiled at him. Kip spent the rest of the day hopping about the bush, enjoying being a simple kangaroo. Passport Russia One day, a dim-witted wolf saw a horse grazing in a field. His mouth watered as he thought of eating him. When the horse saw the wolf approaching him, he sensed that the wolf intended to eat him. The horse at once used his wits and thought of a plan. When the wolf tried to attack the horse, he said to the wolf, You cannot eat me. But why? asked the wolf. The horse confidently replied that he had a passport. What is a passport? asked the wolf. The horse said that he would show him his passport if you came and stood behind me. The wolf was curious to know what a passport was. So he followed the horse's instruction and stood behind him. He saw the long hairy tail of the horse and wondered if perhaps the horse's tail was the passport. Suddenly, the horse kicked him hard on his face. The wolf screamed out loudly as his two teeth shot out of his mouth. He laid on the grass crying in pain while the horse ran away as fast as he could and finally vanished from the sight of the injured wolf. Tug of War West Africa Once there was a rabbit who enjoyed playing tricks on others. One day he went to an elephant and said, You are certainly a powerful animal, but not more powerful than I. The elephant began to laugh. The rabbit said, I will tie a rope around your middle and drag you into the sea. Well, go ahead, the elephant allowed. He tied a rope around the elephant's body and ran to the seashore with the other end of the rope. He saw a whale and called it out. Hey, can you prove yourself stronger than I? said the rabbit. I will tie this rope around your middle and drag you ashore. The whale began laughing. All right, go ahead, he allowed. The rabbit tied the rope securely and hid behind a tree and shouted, Pull! 
the elephant wrapped his trunk around the rope and gave a mighty heave upwards. The whale countered with a tug that almost brought the elephant to his knees. The two animals were amazed at the rabbit's strength. They exerted their strength to the utmost and the rope broke. The two animals fled in opposite directions. The rabbit was greatly amused. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.